The problem here is that because you have to type in a code, you can still be fish. And we've known for a long time that SMS is a bad method for delivering codes. And this has been covered pretty extensively in the press. And we've been talking about it for years, and people are still doing it. And there's a US government agency called NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, and they issue recommendations in all kinds of things. And you think of them as weights and measures, like, am I really getting a gallon of gas when I go to the gas station and pay for this? And when I put a pound of food on the scale, a scale of the Whole Foods, is it a pound of food? But they also regulate a lot of technology things. And they issue these really interesting sounding bulletins, like NIST Special Publication 800-63B, the Digital Identity Guidelines. And if you look in there, you find this, and it says, user use of the PSTN for out-of-band verification is restricted. And it says, verifiers should consider risk indicated. So what does this mean? The PSTN, that means the public switch telephone network. That means phones. What they're saying here in a lot of bureaucratic language is don't send codes over phones. This is bad. So how do you solve this problem? Well, you solve this problem with security keys. This solves two parts of the problem. One is that your phone won't be, can't be hijacked or social engineered. A typical way this happens is someone calls up Verizon or AT&T and says, hi, this is Brad, I've lost my phone, I got a new SIM card, can you activate it? And they do that, and then you break into Brad's bank account and he takes money in. So don't do that, that would be sad. Um, the other thing that can happen is even if you aren't using SMS-based authentication, you can still be tricked by a clever attacker to type your six-digit code from your authenticator app or from your push notification into their website, and then they'll type it into the real website, and then they'll get into your account. With the security key, that can't happen because there's no code to type in, and the key is tied to the actual website by the browser. 